Hey guys, I know I said I was going to do less bundles, and I am doing less bundles, but this week's Humble Bundle has got Coffin Dodgers in it, and I've got a real soft spot for kart racers. Um, one, like the PC in general is low on kart racers. We've got that Sonic the Hedgehog one, uh, Sonic Transform, which is pretty good, but runs a bit shitty. It seems to be like no low frames a second or something. So I thought, hey, let's, let's sink my teeth into Coffin Dodgers. So I picked up the bundle. Um, I was dis I was disappointed. Uh, I knew Coffin Dodgers was going to be bad, um, and I know like the bundle's been out like 28 minutes now. But I downloaded it straight away, and I was like, I'm going to play Coffin Dodgers while the rest of the stuff downloads. Yeah, it's pretty much what I expected, to be honest. Um, spoilers, I didn't like it. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the humble weekly merger game merger games. I don't merge <laughs> merge games and friends. They've got the logo like merge. And games and like squished it so my brain's like am I not seeing something right there so uh, this week's bundle you can get the uh, bottom tier for one dollar uh, if you want steam codes less than a dollar if you don't care about steam codes which is like 76 pence or six pounds which is currently four pounds six P or something uh, for the top tier um, Linux games in this bundle are pixel heroes bite and magic coffin dodgers yay coffee cart game for Linux that's not tux racer which I played to death um, and Victory C. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the game, shall we? Uh, Victory C being the first one. Um, engage in epic RTS warfare across three huge campaigns. This is a military sim. I don't really enjoy military sim games, um, but let's have a look at it anyway. Uh, Ubuntu 1204, that's fine. Um, recommended is an i5, 4 gig of RAM, and an NVIDIA. For 70 and 4 gigabyte space. I do think it's interesting that not many games have got the balls to be like proprietary drivers because a lot of the times these games don't run so great without proprietary drivers. Um, either way, this is priced at £17.49. Pence. That's quite a lot of money considering you can get it for like £4 on the, on the, on the humble thing. So let's have a look at the game. Um, already loaded all these at once to make sure they work. Well, Coffin Dodge I loaded up and played for half an hour before we started recording this, so you know. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's... There we go. Um, I'm not a fan of these type, these types of games anyway. Um, I'm currently using XFC as well, guys, um, because I'm having some problems with the farm manager in um, in KDE, so um, XFC is my stopgap home. Uh, play a campaign game. Oh, my system specs below as well, guys. Uh, historical scenario. Because historical scenario, let's do that. Screw it, let's do that. It's, uh, Royal Navy. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I just clicked. I'm just going to skip all this. Okay, so... <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't, I don't know what that is. What is this? Okay, let's let's what no, Let's let's quit to the main menu. Yes, let's do the tutorial. <laughs> let's do the tutorial. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, okay. Play game. Campaign. Pacific. Not specific. Name is name. Uh huh. Uh, next. Royal Navy. Choose a captain, girl, old bloke, scary woman, tiny little beard. Oh, he's got a pipe, you arrogant bastard. Let's go with that. Okay, start. Normal. <laughs> okay, I just, just show me the game. Okay, this looks more like an actual game I can play. Um, you need to hit the enemy destroyer. So um, I'm going to click on the ship, and then do I drag it? No, oh, just click. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just click, and it starts um, heading towards that. Uh, yeah, I don't like these games, but um, it it looks competent from what I know about this genre. Um, nice enough water, although it seems to be quite static. Uh, seems to be quite solid in Linux. No obvious problems. Run opened up in a uh, window mode the first time. That's nice. Nothing crazy. I had to edit, and it seems to be working okay. So let's call this a win. Let's maybe we can shoot at this at this thing once to figure it out. Have to, like, is there any keys? Is there? No, no, it's not working. Um, yeah. Let's, let's shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Shoot. Oh, ships enter battle. Do you wish to attack? Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's like, plays like battleship. I'm just going to ignore that as well. Okay, I, I had a, oh, okay, cool. So this is like an attack thing. So, oh, okay. Wow, yeah, this is not my kind of game. Let's just... Let's just click the X on that, yeah. Um, 
as I said, not my kind of game, but uh, it seems competent and didn't crash and was solid. But that is why we're doing less of these bundles, guys, because everything seems competent recently. The developers seem to have figured out how to make stuff for Linux, and it's awesome because now I'm just I'm doing this bundle because I really just want to play Coffin Dodgers, and I thought, hey, I might as well do the rest of the bundle. Um, Pixel Heroes, uh, Bite and Magic, that's cool. Enter a world of Pixel Heroes uh, and prepare yourself for thrilling RPG roguelike. Because you can't just have the word RPG without roguelike. It's like GNU slash Linux, isn't it? You just... God damn it. Fucking hell. Um, 6 dollars on its own, so it's more than the price of the bundle again on its own. Um, very positive reviews. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Um, it needs 10.10 uh, .10 or better. Um... 128 mega RAM, a processor, graphics card with shader model 2, so anything, 105 megabyte uh, hard drive space, and any stereo sound card. Okay, that seems cool. Um, let's have a little look at this, shall we? This is Pixel Heroes, Bite and Magic. Um, I've got a real soft spot for these like retro looking things of any sort, to be honest. Um, I did make a game earlier, but I need a new game. Oh, what? Do you really want to start? Yeah, okay. Yeah, abandon. Uh, start. Okay. But I don't think, I think maybe if you play it in like a smaller window, it'd probably look a bit nicer. But uh, for the benefit of the video, I'm just going to full screen it. But I'd like stand further away when I do this. Um, yeah, you can click on dude and you can decide to rename or whatever. Hire dude. Hire dude. Until you've got enough dudes. Yeah, and then you can ship out the dudes. This is what I figured out in my first playthrough. I'm really proud of this. I'm like, I really understood the mechanics of this game on like a deep level. Um, <laughs> yeah, the end. Yeah, okay, what? Oh, okay. Uh, what's this guy saying? Uh, listen, the end is nigh. Uh, hear my words, prepare. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, end is nigh. Let's have a look at the game. Okay, so then you can like, you can walk across and as you pass a building, you have the option to go inside it. Or then you can click on people and talk to them. It's uh, pretty cool. It's, um, yeah, competent. Looks like fun. Uh, there's a quest there. Let's accept the quest. Cheat mode. Okay, it's cool. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, again, guys, don't. I don't normally play games like this. I keep saying it because I feel like I look like a moron in these videos. But when I'm testing these videos, I'm just seeing if they competently work in Linux. I'm not actually trying to give myself any massive spoilers about the game and stuff. So, library. Let's go inside the library. Yay. So, yeah. Pretty competent game. Looks like it's dialogue and story based. Um, I haven't seen any obvious fight mechanics. Now this is the second time I had a muck around with it, so definitely one I'll come back and spend some time with um, and just exit that. But yeah, that looks competent. Very positive reviews. So what do the reviews say? Uh, oh, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs up seven hours, thumbs up thirty hours. Okay, wow. Uh, thumbs up nineteen hours. So yeah, it looks like pretty competent. Looks like people enjoy that. And uh, okay, the next game. Oh my god, Coffin Dodgers. Oh, Coffin Dodgers. Coffin Dodgers. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Um, yeah, this looks cool, right? I mean, this looks awesome. This is not in-game. This looks really badass. It's not in-game. Um, this is, even then, looks, I would say, the perfect scenario of in-game. Um, it looks very stodgy. Um, pimp up your mobility scooter. Take on the Grim Reaper in his zombie army. A race for your soul. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's a cool concept, racing all people. Really like, I really like kart games. I really, really, really like kart games. Two player split screen so I can play with my kid. That's cool as well. Everything about this game makes me psyched for like, the, yeah, but I kind of already read the reviews because when it came out, it was in early access and I was like, yeah, it's a kart game, so I'm interested. And I knew it wasn't going to be brilliant, but uh, yeah. Recommended spec for getting the minimum. Who cares about the minimum? Ubuntu 14.04, uh, i5 or better, okay, 4 gigabyte of RAM, uh, an NVIDIA, 1.5 gigabyte or 1,500 megabyte, I don't know why you've written it like that. Um, specs, specs will be revised continually during early access. Well, you're out of early access, so you should probably get rid of that now. It's 8.99 on its own, and let's hit the play button. Cool. Oh, okay. Yay. Uh, story. Let's a uh, quick race. Let's have a look. Who should we play as? Um, biker dude, uh, grandma, summer dude, this mad scientist dude. Okay, this looks good, right? I know what you guys are thinking. It's gonna blow your mind. See, I've seen a load of videos and everyone's criticised it for the same reason, saying like the world they've made looks really cool, but then the game's really sort of not as fun as the world makes out. And I can kind of agree with all the criticism I found of it actually. But being a fan of kart games, I thought, hey, let's let's just give it a go anyway, because it's fun. Um, 
yeah, it handles a little bit, a little bit one to one. It doesn't feel like a car. It feels like sort of. I don't know, something else. I'm sorry for going on about this guy, but I really love kart games, so I feel, I feel a little bit like involved in this one. Um, yeah, it. Mm, okay, so that looks like a gun, but it's actually a thruster. Um, yeah, it's it's competent, it's a little tight feeling, but maybe the reason it feels a little bit tight um, is because is because it's supposed to be like motor scooters, so they've, they've made it feel like really like, you know. Like it's a smaller vehicle, I suppose that's what they're going for. I don't like this, look, his corn, look. You bounce off the corn like a wall. I don't like that, look. No interactivity there with the corn. Um, Environment-wise, it looks really, like, crisp, uh, but not in the way of, like, not in a good way. It looks like I'm waiting for the environmentals to load or something. Um, and it doesn't handle as bad as people say, to be fair. I mean, again, I've come back after playing this for, like, half an hour while I was waiting for the rest to download, and, yeah. Um, it's, not as bad as, it's not as bad as people say, but it's not one that... I wouldn't have, uh, yeah. I can't recommend you buy it, guys, because it feels like Tux Kart. It just feels like Super Tux Kart Racer, whatever it's called currently. Um, yeah, it really, really does, actually. Yeah. And, like, that's an open source project being worked on by people. And I've got a lot of respect for the fact that game's been, like, continually doing it for years, and they've continually added little bits and bobs to make it a bit more fun and stuff. Um, so that gets a pass for having graphics similar to this, because it does look like like original Xbox, doesn't it? It looks like a like an upscaled Xbox game, like original Xbox. I can't say Xbox One anymore. That's weird. Yeah, it's. I'm not feeling as involved as I do in um, like Sonic Transformed or in uh, Mario or Mario Kart at all. It's it's not. No, it's got nothing sticking out that makes you go, "Hey, that's awesome." It's just quite, you know, yeah. Even, it's, it's actually a little bit, I don't know, I find a little bit dull as we race around. Um, yeah, nothing nothing to really sort of drag you. I mean, the best kart games, why is he flashing? The best kart games are the ones where you never travel more than like a few meters without some random shit happening, and that keeps you constantly like trying to dodge the shit and trying to get involved. Um, I just killed the devil. Is, is that murder? I just kill the devil? Is that like, or is that like the opposite of murder? Now people can't die. I assume I'll just get back on his mobility scooter at some point. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm still going around here. I'm first. And pad controls are nice. I mean, it does play fine on pad. Um, it's got this bike thing. If I hold down B, I can slap people, but it doesn't appear to actually do anything. Maybe I have to, like, get all the way up, and then maybe that'll do it. No. Second. Uh, yeah, mm, mm, no, I'm not. It's pretty bad. Guys, it, it doesn't. I mean, I don't mean that as in like technically it works, and I don't want to like be mean to the developers because you guys obviously worked hard on it. But it's not the game. Like as a fan of kart games, there are loads of better choices. Not that many in the PC that are current. Not like there's no one's making new kart games to the PC. They're amazing, especially not for Linux. Um, but yeah, you can just play like Tux Kart, and it's you know yeah. Um, not. And the other thing I've noticed is like when you hit Escape, it's re like it's not obvious. Like you, you like in a menu. Rather than having all these things hidden away beyond another menu, it's it's right there in your face, uh, which is kind of confusing. And it certainly does not look like the thumbnail image. Let's just kill that. Does not look like a thumb image. Um, do I have Tux? Do I? Oh, Super Tux car. I actually have installed. Let's see if that's actually set up in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. I've even put a link in Steam for this. Ooh, and it's really fucking loud as well. Let's turn it down. Uh, yay. Okay. Whatever. Uh, cancel that. Just. Single player, let's have a look. Uh, I'm gonna be Tux, because that's the point of being Tux Racer, isn't it? Uh, normal race, uh, so the underwater one, yeah. Start race. I don't remember, oh, that's it. Yeah! So this, this game's really loud, guys, I'm not aware of that. Oh, is it? <laughs> I know, I don't map the controls at all, no way. Uh, let's just, just, wow, yeah. <laughs> Dogs raises a failure for me then, yeah. Um, I could have sworn I mapped this. I could have sworn I thought I'd sort of this out. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I could have sworn I fixed this. But yeah, it looks very similar to, uh, even though I can't race because apparently nothing's set up properly. Um, I really thought, really thought I had that set up. Um, it does look very similar to this game. Um, it looks like this just looks like a polymer version of the same engine. Um, and the Tux Race maps are really, some of them are quite interesting. Um, yeah, uh, this game has been released early access. It's uh, updated a review. Having played a few more hours, you can read the old review below. Uh, so my option has changed at all. The answer, no, it hasn't. So yeah, like, it's not particularly popular. Um, 
I don't know. It seems very positive with all those with 187 reviews. I don't know what to say about it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being too harsh because I actually really like um, I really like kart racing games, and it's not doing it for me. And I feel like these screenshots are their best case scenario screenshots, aren't they? I mean, they've really been picked specifically. I can upgrade the type of the kart as well. So okay. Um, yeah, that's certainly not representative of what I've seen in the game at all. And maybe it needs a little bit longer to bake in early access. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just being a dick about it. Who knows? But yeah, that's been uh, this Humble Bundle. Uh, more specifically, a Humble Bundle where it's a look at, Tuck, at um, Tuck's Coffin Dodger Racer or whatever it is now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm mean. I know. I don't really slam games very often. I feel really bad when I do, but I don't, didn't enjoy anything about that game. Um, it, the, the environments look quite nice, is all I can really say. And um, really rigid racing, didn't like that. So uh, I'm rambling now. It's been fun. Uh, for more videos like this, um, just have a look on YouTube and hit subscribe and my beard will end up on your feed. If you don't hit subscribe, you'll have to go looking for my beard and then like in the middle of the night, you, your wife will come in and she'll be like, what are you doing, honey? And you'll be like, I'm looking for the bearded man. And that'll be really fucking weird and your marriage will probably go south from there. So it's probably best just to subscribe. Um, and if you like, I'll know that you love me. And if you vote me down, I'll assume you're that one fucking dude that, that gives me a thumbs down. We'd like, I'll post a video. It's been up like a four minute video. It's been up for ten seconds. This is one dude that's like, no, fuck you, thumbs down. <laughs> like, thanks, dude. I know for a fact you haven't watched the video because it just hasn't been up long enough. You're like, load the video, thumbs down, close the page. Uh, which I get that because I'm really fucking annoying. So thank you for watching this rambly, rambly mess of a video. And hopefully I'll see you again. Bye. Oh, that didn't work. Where's my buttons? There.